Oh, for Gold Rush. Okay, okay. So let's go into the uh, game and see the two divisions. Hans on both sides, so predictions kind of very good. And the gold spot, look at this, it's just better for the team of Brew Roomstock and Miguel here. Um, let's take yeah, a definitely. look at the positioning. At the top we have Kelts of Rubenstock against Kelts of Tato. The middles are Hans against Franks. And in the south we can see uh, Miguel with the Hans against the Franks of Knowledge. A uh, bit of an advantage for Quindy A here. Yeah, I feel like Han Pocket is a bit more powerful. So I'm a bit confused that he hasn't even got the market yet, or did he? Oh no, no, I'd, uh, yeah. Uh, I think uh, Frank Market is uh, Frank Pocket is a bit better. I think Frank Pocket is a bit better, so a bit better for Ocidia Allegria. Ah, and Bru is getting the market. What's the Frank? What is, what is oh, Rage doing? Not having Why guilt. Why does Rage go for the market? Oh yeah, that's so bad. So bad. Having the market would be very good. And Frank's yeah, obviously not having guilt. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. He just he's just gonna sell a bit. Yeah, but he can just, he deny. Can just uh, sell wood. He probably, yeah, he only sold wood. And you basically don't need wood for forever as Franks. So, so as you can see, Rage it's going fine. for the middle pretty early. As is. That is nice. Building a castle through. already. And let's see, oh, already a risky villager running over the whole map from Tato. Look at this, through the whole battlefield actually, to build yeah. a siege workshop. <laughs> but where is he building it? I think it's. Oh, not the greatest positioning. I think something behind the base would have been a bit better. Yeah. Ah, but let's see. Miguel will get pushed pretty, pretty hard now, probably. Yeah, I think the most of the fighting will be on this side in the uh, south here. Tato retreating. Obviously, it's tough to kill a Celts, so both Celts will most likely not go for big pushes against each oh, other. Oh, and this early only support? I really. I don't know. I, I could imagine this game ending pretty quickly, but let's see how, how well uh, Miguel defends this. Yeah, Miguel desperately trying to get up army and knowledge only being at 40 at the stage, Miguel at 90. Yeah. But Rage is a big story, being at pop 140. Look at the stream of units and still having a lot in the middle to fight. But let's see... Just imagine if he had gotten the market, <laughs> it would be much worse. Ah, nice, nice pushback now. Yeah, and the castle they is they up. They need to hold those uh, siege workshops. Right now they can't. Oh, first uh, onager instantly dying. Just dying. What the? Nice job by Rubenstock already securing his corner. Some paladins blocking the way there. Walling. Oh yeah. Making sure they can trade as well. Yeah, and not walling here at the wood because obviously against Kelt would have been an easy cut. So always walling with cliffs and the end of the Ooh. map. Nice move there. <laughs> Tato almost had the chance to shoot once. To okay, now he has two onages. Let's see. And nice snipe down by Brew here. And it's look but good for Miguel here. You predicted a fast game, but it's more yeah, looking yeah. like a fast Maybe game. A fast game in the other direction. <laughs> yeah, Kellen, exactly. Kellen but played so aggressively. He has a lot of trouble now. Yeah, but um, the big story obviously is who's getting no most of the middle. Yeah, right. And I feel like they're ignoring it a bit too much. Um, just, just rage is securing the middle. Roomstock tried it a bit, but Brew because he ha he sent everything to the other side. But well, let's see. I mean, if they can completely take out Kellen. Yeah, if they can. The middle won't save Wendy. Yeah, and they have a lot of rams now. Five, six rams, uh, even yep. more uh, in the back. Uh, not look getting at the ghost He hardly has anything. Yeah, being at pop uh, 62 and having 36 army, it's not looking good for him. It doesn't seem like he will get the greatest army. And Rage now sending some calf archers, but the wrong yeah, way around. Obviously, only this. Only, yeah, and he only has calf archers. Oh, yeah. Because he didn't get the market, so he couldn't uh, uh, afford to make enough paladins. I still don't get it. Yeah, obviously not the greatest choice here. Even having a lot of halberdiers, uh, maybe uh, even fighting against uh, the Kels now. I have to say I'm not too happy with Rubenstock's performance so far. He's uh, okay. He's he's taking this hill, which is important. But look how much army he has there. Yeah, absolutely. While, he should... while the whole fight is on the other side. Yeah, yeah. He should continue pushing against Rage in the middle. Just give them some room to breathe. And they're already starting to and kind all, of a trade. All, all, 
and also give Oni support on the other side. Because, as you can see now, those Onagers of Tato, the, yeah. they can push Miguel back easily. Ooh, oh, but what oh. Onagers you... Okay. Oh, I have to ask. Oh, great shot! Down. Yeah, three still being left, doing some damage. And yeah, the push of Miguel will just continue. Although oh, there's oh. not a lot of uh, siege left. And now he can't get more Onis. Uh, okay, Kellen has like two Frank Onis. <laughs> Yeah. Kellon was a very little pop only at 53. Pop. This castle could have easily been sniped with 45 and HP only. Only one villager mining gold now, like six on the other side as well. Ooh. Yeah, and the trade is being blocked as well. And it's not like Rage has a lot of the gold either. Oh, nope. and now finally Roomstock nope, is nope, pushing. Nope. And Roomstock is taking the gold now. Oh. This looks really good for them. They also have three corners almost. Because yeah, they, they can't really secure his corner. Absolutely two corners for sure. And this one is kind of forward uh, at this stage, but being blocked by walls uh, okay, and castle. Building markets, uh, <laughs> like in, in between. Uh, 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 that's not a good market. Maybe he just made a market to, I don't know, buy something. Oh god, and Brew and Roomstock have so many traps now. So any castle of Rage is in danger. Who, which one he is trying to build? Uh, in any range, actually. So now they have the uh, trade, Tetris they have the sending new wills to, to make a new siege workshop. It's, to me, it looks Let's like see. it's going to be too late. Yeah, so to having some more oranges could have out so much. Um, yeah, there's <laughs> Lemon World is uh, pointing on the spectator chat. Yeah, yeah I, I don't think get it's, it it's colors, I right? Don't get why Lemon World. I don't get why Ruben isn't, uh, isn't making a few omis. It's not like he's okay now. He has to defend against push and uh, by Tattoo, who's also trying to cut the wood to get into the trade, which just doesn't matter at all right now. And just look at the amount of gold in the middle. Like trade at this point just doesn't matter at all. All the gold in the middle belonging to Rubenstock and Brew here. Oh, look at those villagers this just getting precious gold. One of the biggest comeback I've ever seen, I'd say. Yeah, say probably the biggest comeback I, I ever saw. So, um, yeah, just what can not Kevin do now? He has, he has no gold, he has no trade. Yeah, no, f uh, oh, Fudigo is actually okay ish, I'd say, but oh. yeah, he will just not get onto the army to kill everything from Miguel. Yeah. There's no way for them to get any gold. No one of them has any any serious trade. Yeah, yet. let's take. Oh, uh, look at those gold spots. And the, the trade market is just so bad. And just no potential for a very good trade. Uh, those coverages might even go here pretty soon to block even And they further. really control all of the gold. But I I feel like the gold positioning, even though it was better for them, didn't really decide this game. No, it did absolutely not. Um, Maybe. Uh, it was just Rubenstock who had a big, bigger army uh, than Tato because he did not help us uh, with a single unit in the south and then just pushed against Rage. And obviously the double was just so much better. Knowledge just being on the flank, not getting up a lot of defense pretty early. They kind of thought maybe, okay, we can push here, but being frank with Marcus and a full short distance hunt just pushed them away and just beautiful team play by um, the two Brazilian oh, players here. And so Oni's not even getting a shot yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. So that's a GG. So disappointing. Okay, wow. GG! And 3 2! Oh wow. man! It really looked like they were pushing Miguel for a second. <laughs> and then yeah, yeah. they just ran out of steam completely. Yeah, and Miguel. run in no time. Yeah, so true. And Miguel was scared. He was sending six villagers to build this castle. So he knew, oh god, so many units over here on this hill. And yeah, it was pretty tough. But yeah, Brew just got the market, sending a lot of Frank Paladins. And Miguel and got... he should never get the market. Because uh, Hunt Pocket, I've seen, I've even seen Rage play it. Like two, two uh, stable and one market start as a pocket. Because it just doesn't matter if you have three stables right away. Or two doesn't make a huge difference. Ah, Kellen not getting onto any good village account. Military. Okay, what's the next? What's the next map? It's two and two again, right? Uh, Saracens map pack. Saracens hidden. Oh God, again hidden and so Saracen's much guessing. hidden. Ah, ah, on map pack as well. So, hmm. I think we'll see Spain. 
Saracens and hidden on map pack. So guys, because it's map pack, we'll see Spanish. Okay, guys, just remember, map pack means we have one of the maps: Gold Rush, Continental, Baltic, Graveyards, Atacama, Prairie, or Ghost Lake. So, on maps like Baltic or on, on a map like Atacama, you could just go for Hans or Goss. But as you don't know which map is, it's going to be, um, yeah. Well, those are the maps where Spanish might be the or will be a uh, worst choice because they, <laughs> they're not that fast at the start. But if you get a map like Baltic, Spanish is uh, just the best surf because they, they're the best, there's much water surf early on. And. Um, Saracens are relatively slow because they don't get ship right and Hans don't get it either. Ah, <sighs> I expect teams no. to go Spanish, but never know. Maybe, maybe. Oh, it seems like Brew and Miguel are playing. Else. Oh, okay. And Rumstock was away and host, <laughs> so we got a small delay here. Um. Oh, Rumstock will play. He was just host and uh, being away. Okay, this yeah, makes I would have been surprised if he. Well, this oh, is. Well, maybe. Oh, if they're okay, still if playing. They're oh no! It, it now it seems like Miguel and Rumstock are playing. Okay. Yeah. I would have been surprised because, especially, it has also sets that really favor him. I think. Yeah, Rumstock obviously. He's he loves everything. So. <laughs> yeah, and it's just the, he's like so clever with so many decisions. I think on, on so many maps, I think he is just a great addition to basically every team. So they're leading 3-2. Yeah! Really oh god, nice. something I would absolutely... I, yeah, in some scenarios I could have seen it, but... Yeah, I'm absolutely surprised how those games yes. went and that they're actually leading. Yep. Because obviously Quendi A were the favorites in this tournament, but remember yep. as well there was not much time to prepare for those finals at all. They just played True. Sunday yeah. 14 GMT, so they knew that they would win and go to the finals, like Sunday 16 GMT or something. They went on to uh, prepare for some hours, and I think they played some before today, but... That's it. Yeah, that's basically it. I'm not sure if they had another session. So only like two days for like only a couple of hours, to prepare for 11 maps with a lot of hidden civilizations. Absolutely and it's not more than, Yeah, because all the one-on-ones, it's uh, even more than uh, just 11 games to think about, even though every player only has to think about one of the one-on-ones. But um, if the other guy helps him to train it, etc., it all takes time, so, yeah. Whew. So map pack, still a lot of options here. Saracens most likely to be seen by Roomstock. And I yeah. think most likely to be seen by Knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Because in Hunt Saracens, he always played uh, Saracens. So I'd be surprised not to see him play them. But never know. Maybe they... Um, I could imagine Quendi going Hunts, actually. But wow, let's see. Well, obviously, Hans... On some, on some maps, that could really fail. On other maps, like Atacama, uh, would probably rock. Yeah, and I think on Gold Rush, it would be better to play Hans than Spanish. I think there are some options, for sure, where Hans are better. And... Yeah. And Hans obviously giving the stable bonus to Saracens as well. Exactly. And you're yeah, they, they make the whole team faster. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so. I've, yeah, I could see Quendi going Hans. Maybe even both teams going Hans because the other team is. Uh, they figure like, okay, they're probably going Hans. Let's not give. Uh, let's not try to play other sips. Just give them a mirror. Like like we saw last game, but we'll see. Okay, let's jump into game oh, number six. Goss and Hans. So Goss for Quendi A and Hans for Miguel and Rubenstock here and it's wow. Continental, it's let's continental. take a look at the map. 
There's just so much to look at at the start. So obviously it's Saracens against Goss at and the top. And it's Rage playing Saracens. I'll say when Goss and Kellen is a Goss player. Oh god. So obviously it will be extremely tough to defend with Saracens against the rushing Goss. And on the other side we have Hans against the Saracens. So I, I predict uh, we will see Quendi going for a big rush against, um, uh, against Rubenstock here. Who is not building a single castle yet? Oh, now he is. Ooh. Um, well, I've, I've played a couple of continental games with Kellen and um, where he was Goss and he always tried to take the middle um, at first using the initial uh, speed advantage of Goss to, to get the middle and keep keeps the other team from um, getting together. Right now if you see that hill with the relic on it in the middle, yeah. that one is really important for the Quendi team because if they don't have it, they they are in danger of being separated. Of course there's another crossing on the left side, but... Um, yeah, but and also they will give uh, the advantage to room second last to build uh, more docks over here and in the long run water is so important and as you can see room stock already adding docks and just getting some galleons out and cannon galleons over here could be so water, deadly for I have knowledge. to say that um, actually uh, the Quendi team has a slight advantage because or uh, might be even a big advantage because Gauss have ship right, right? So they, their chips aren't only produced faster, they only cost less wood. Uh, they also less, uh, cost less wood, so. Might come in handy on the land. Yeah, now the big double on the land going against Miguel here, who's again tr uh, struggling. 100 army for knowledge, or at least, yeah, kind of. And 50 from Rage going into Miguel's army. But Roomstock is here. He is here with a lot of camels. Obviously, the fastest able to help out. Soon to see more onagers, even some ships helping out. And I think the army are just dying from Quen here. Yeah, that fight wasn't too good for them. And Continental still the level isn't the absolute highest. Players aren't playing this for the yeah. longest of all times. And also there are so many options what to do. Um, sometimes you get messed with all those hills, you can't put CCs anywhere. And <laughs> I find it pretty funny that both of the guys already have a couple of farms built. I feel like that's that's the least important stuff right now. You can also get some fishing boats out. <laughs> Um, Let's see, Rage is taking this important hill as you already mentioned. Yeah. Good thing so there, important, but all his camels are stuck and not moving. But nice only shots coming in against Miguel. It feels like half of his camels are on stand ground or just bugged. Oh. Oh yeah, I think that's a bit of a waste of O and A there. And Quindia should take a good middle here. Now Rage is sending a lot of ships but only having one dock. And Miguel will have a four dock production now and they should control the water there unless Rage gets a lot out a lot of sea really tornadoes. Really Quindia is the trade route. Well it's not good for either team actually, but um, they at least have more options um, for a good trade. Whereas for I don't see a really good trade running ever for Pokemon EA. Maybe if they control everything, like the, the hill north of Rubenstock's base as well and stuff. Oh, this one, no. I think we will see a trade close to the two stone Ooh. spots of knowledge. What, what I don't like is how many ships Rubenstock did in this lake between him and, uh, and Kellen. Yeah. Okay, now he's losing a couple at least, but uh, <laughs> yeah, he, would... he just made too many because his blocking top already costs a lot of gold and he's just. Uh, yeah, and nine much. more and incoming as well. Yeah, and he needs he, cannon galleons. He, he only needs cannon galleons, right. Like ten ships there would be... Oh, well. So obviously now it's tough to take any hills against a lot of Mamelukes and sea drones for both teams. I think we will see a bit of a sling now going on to uh, both Zeristeen players because they obviously have the strongest water and the strongest land army at this stage of the game. No. Oh, knowledge even getting the hill you wanted him to get. A bit surprising for me that Roomstock didn't just wall something over here because he is controlling so much of the map. Knowledge yeah, not building. Yeah, 
Uh, not really sure. Ah, room stocks. Yeah, it is room stocks castle. So yeah, absolutely fine for now. Um, let's uh, what's what's also really interesting on this map is uh, how much water do you want to go? Like, because uh, if you go for a massive water army, you can just push slowly, and you may encounter like a couple of onagers uh, on the narrow sides. On the sides of the map, there are usually places where three or four onagers might stop you completely. You have to micro a lot, go back, use your cannon galleons uh, and stuff while you lack the army on uh, land. But on land. wow, one thing actually, Wendy can hardly trade if Rook. Well, I was complaining that he made too many ships in this one lake, right? But if he keeps controlling it, Quendy will not be able to trade. Oh yeah, at least not with this market. He needs to rebuild the market yeah, over but here. As it seems. Look at the crossings between That's them. So they can't really uh, trade on the completely on the left side. It's impossible. So the traders will always go along that route. So, wow. Yeah, I think yeah they have to rebuild the markets, and even then it's blocking. So That's they a big problem on continental for sure. Yeah, they have a far worse map. Oh, and now can and gain some room stock. Nice move there. And I also feel that on a map like this, um, nah, 20 team definitely has less experience um, compared to the random map players. <laughs> also, room stock used to be a deathmatch player already. He became a top uh, random map player as well. Oh, that's the way around? I thought he was like 1900 in random map and then he became 2k in no, deathmatch. I, I only got to know him in deathmatch like 4 or 5 years ago. I don't know. Oh no, I thought, I, thought, I thought he was kind of the maps team and was okay in random map as well. But not really oh, sure. Well, we have to ask him or maybe he's yeah. an expert. Or just really I remember to playing with him before the rating reset and he was like 2k plus deathmatch for example. Okay, yeah, sweet move. Um, yeah, but actually, obviously, having the great experience. Oh, the mammy looks okay, but still going back. And now they have so much an unused army here. Um, not really sure how to actually use this army. The game is kind of being slow now. Let's take a look what both teams need to do. Obviously, um, taking this north would be so great. Let's take a look if Roomstock is able to trade. As you can see, every player only has one market, except Rage just added the second <laughs> one. And just because you know... Uh, Rookstock uh, desperately uh, trying to defend that hill up north. And losing some, some cannon galleons. Rookstock trying to defend that hill, yeah, exactly. Oh, those host cards are doing nicely against <laughs> the ships. Yeah, so good, so good. Um, but still, there's just no chance of knowledge ever getting this water back. And yeah, he could have prevented that a bit better. He had a very close distance from his starting to see to build up as well. What's going on? Nice, nice push going on in the on Miguel actually in the main. Yeah, but it was only really low pop. two traps. Oh yeah, 130 yeah. only, and a lot of villagers will go down here, and the Siskats will will not die against but a lot of. But he have resources, but also look at the Mamluks blocking his markets down there. They don't have any trade either because they don't, they can't really decide. Ah, Rubenstock now making markets on the, the left, no, on the, uh, the really north side, but. But they can't really decide what to, where to, where to go. A oh, big Mameluk uh, duel going on. South of the lake, room stock controlling. Which oh yeah. Uh, and when kind of even, it feels a bit better for room really stock. Really nice that, that cannon is still defending that castle, using some cannons, repairing it. Yeah. It's and room stock now losing more and more games, and now he even could need uh, some reproduction of those. And Miguel uh, is on pop 90. Yeah, 40 fruit with not a single farm. Rage again transporting some Mamluks. Mm, you're doing a nice job there. The whole uh, Q&A uh, team, um, or well, uh, ONA team, doesn't have a single farm. Uh. Oh god. But Ruben still has a lot of food. Just yeah, but this Miguel doesn't help Miguel. <laughs> 
Relic over here being at pop 100. Other players are at least 150. A nice move from Rage. Very tight control there. Getting those. But I feel players. like Helen will be in big trouble now because he's going to lose on, on the water and not because Roomstock finally managed to get enough ships there. He can just attack now yeah. and lose the castle soon as well. Oh, okay. He might still defend it. But oh, and a lot of paladins in his eco now. Yeah. And some. Yeah, well, he has halves. That's fine. But yeah, and but some. Oh, those good. rams. Nice. Those rams really rock. Oh yeah, and now all the cannon guy is even going down for knowledge wow. and it's a very good wow. fight for Roomstock. Cannon absolutely yeah. needs to go back here. He's taking wow. such a bad fight, he would even take a bad fight against the Galleons. But even, even with Rams it's so much worse. And now he's going down so heavily in pop. You can see he's dropping down to 150 against the 180 of Roomstock. Absolutely giving um, Lost a chance to come back into this game. Or if they're not even being happy because it's water. Look at this knowledge. Saved this castle, killed all the cannon galleons, and now is rebuilding another castle. And maybe he's able oh, to yeah, build nice. new docks over there. Just he can retake this would be nice, but actually, you should probably send some Huskals uh, to the main ship fight. Like 10 Huskals there would do a lot of good. Oh, and rooms have just beautiful positioning into the small trade of Quenya here. Oh, Roomstock denying this castle. I think it's very close. Uh, it feels like it was over 90% for sure. Oh, 87% there. Rage now trying well. to build a castle. Um, but most uh, of all things... Roomstock trying to build an offensive to uh, Not getting it up. Uh, and it's... Yeah, uh, even getting sniped down and... Oh, even cancelled before. Yeah. Oh, that was very close. But Miguel really managed to stabilize. He is still pretty low on pop, but... Um, yeah, yeah he, and... With a couple not, of cannon galleons. Not having food for a single villager, but building calf archers and galleons. Does uh, not good food. And Rage, food. Uh, Rage made a castle which is going down as well. This looks pretty bad for Quenny now. Also feel they have the far worse map, just due to having so much less land. And but, oh well. Now Ruben just needs to move his rams. Oh, and Miguel is doing great stuff in the middle of the map. Uh, snapping down yes. a lot of villagers from Rage. And he Even still has... Oh yeah, traps. Oh, nice move and sniping this castle. And you mentioned at the very start of this game, this castle is so important for Quendi to stay alive <laughs> in this game. Standing, actually, right now, even that castle doesn't save them because they can't trade at all. Uh, Ruben just controlling the water. We're well, not totally oh, controlling yeah. it yet. But yeah, this castle might go up at some stage of the game. Now even sending traps. His mission of the game is let's get this castle down. And now he has like seven elite cannon gear and three traps, yeah, more yeah. rams. I think this castle stays yeah. are over pretty soon. Yep. The market going down so finally the trade is absolutely even stopped. Callan still has a 2.5k stone, but Oh, it's not even going down yet. <laughs> oh man, so those traps in snipe. But now the cannon galleons will finally finish it. Yeah, that's what you say. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, it oh is yeah, the HP, HP is getting so low and finally the castle is going down! Um, the castle of Roomstock as well. Another castle for knowledge here. The trade is a going wait, wait, trade profit. Miguel still on zero trade profit. Uh, Room on 600 and Quendi on 1.5k each. Miguel on zero. Oh, now he got new markets. They're only trading through yeah. the mainland of Roomstock. So this market should absolutely be deleted now. Um, very one relic, short so. distance, but extremely safe. Huskar's being so good to take a lot of damage against Galleons. But you need to build something to kill those uh, war Galleons. Elite war Galleons, I would say. Cannon Guardians. Uh, those castles both being still alive as well. Oh, it's just so tough to get trade up in this map. Yeah. Oh, when knowledge recovered on the water, let's take a look at population. Miguel yeah, and Rage around 120. Definitely better on water than on the Oh man! 
I just died. This is oh this god. Is, this this is could have been. Incredible. This was so important, and now Roomstock had like thirty oh, uh, uh, galleons over there oh, without the any. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh god. He had like thirty-five there. Oh, oh my god. We have to do a gif of this and um, send it to Kellen every day. <laughs> oh god, what was oh. happening over there? Uh, just right click like in the top and then on the right hand side or... Yeah, because the shift actually... Or maybe just the shift movement as well. Yeah, oh, the map just, just is already coming. But too late for those ships. He just sent like 40 versions of the Titanic. <laughs> oh god. They all sang. Oh, oh my. my. Yeah. So, um. Yeah, this is let's easy, isn't it? Yeah, we so they have so little of the. But yeah, but they have so little of the land. With, yeah, Miguel 120. Look at the others. Na knowledge and uh, great. They don't have more, yeah. yeah. Combined 260, so. And now uh, all Rube has to do is get a couple of cannon galleons out down, uh, up in the north. And then yeah. Yeah, and just, just wait for knowledge push. to waste another 40 galleons. <laughs> yeah. Wow. The oh, only yeah. advantage they had were having a bit more trade, but after losing all those water, all those ships for nothing. Wow. Yeah, and those ships could have been so precious, like having them over here could block the trade beautifully, having them over here could do so much, like this Galleon, if the, uh, he had like 39 more friends, he could uh, do so much damage against all the trade cards and all the villagers there. This could have been so good, now obviously the middle wood is getting important because they are running dry on their main islands, as you can see, so, oh, Rage, oh, Rage has still a lot of wood left, a lot let's of take wood, a look. Yeah. Also, uh, but also knowledge remember doesn't. Remember, they, they played a lot more uh, wood efficient because they have Goss, they have Trip Ride. Okay, two, two. But knowledge Ships needs. Ships cost 20% less. Yeah, and knowledge needs to rebuild a lot of houses and bracks now. Oh, uh, he's doing a nice push in the middle against this wood. But yeah, rage but. Yeah, and both players instantly realizing that what they have to do, saving a lot of villagers there. And those Huskards will not die quickly, but they will die eventually. Um, slinging some food to Miguel so he might be able to do some Rage, to Rage got a good fleet now. Let's see if he's going to waste it. <laughs> uh, monk is <laughs> one monk is trying to fight it. And he's not even he getting the converse. Oh, two no, castles yeah, he's, already. Oh, he's good. losing quite a bit against those castles. Yeah. That's still okay, -ish and no, but, yeah. there's not a lot but of he's protection. Going to the trend, there's oh, nice. Not, uh, well, there's ship. one more castle uh, which he has to pass, but then. Yeah, let's see where he's clicking. Uh, I think oh, he's he went left because he already sent one uh, Huskard, uh, one uh, Mame there, and a couple of Huskards. By, uh, yeah. Oh, but this is a bit of a better spot of Roomstock because he has three dogs closer there and obviously closer production. And now of the can even fight. Oh god, yeah, yeah not yeah, the okay. baddest. Nice, nice not... reaction by Rage. Yeah, nice reaction time for absolutely sure there. Um, this needs to do a lot of damage because their trade isn't great. And yeah, just knowledge base in general. They're trying to get some, but Roomstock will always but take wait, a better Ruben, Yeah, Roomstock finally made some fishing ships. Yeah, yeah, I saw them, they were, they were idle yeah. for quite some time. Yeah, they're still out. And now Ruben got enough water to clear this up as well. So, this could have been a nice sneak uh, attack. Yeah, he just lost like 5 trade cards. So it's completely fine. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Populations although, look, 170 for both lost players. And 140 I for both like 20. Ruben just 20 needs to push uh, on the north. If he made a couple more galleons there and maybe like 20, uh, 20 more galleons and a Let's few. see a demolition ship against uh, some... Uh, 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 oh, nothing happened. Uh, oh, and just... Just, just went back in time. <laughs> okay, some no, paladins Ruben, in the middle uh, now. Okay, saw it now. Room had his ships on stand ground and blew them single ones. Um, so what should they do? I, I feel like the, the best now would be for Ruben to just push through on, on water because then they can't trade at all anymore. If yeah, he, oh, just some Mamelukes. A couple of cannon galleons, now he's setting some. Mamelukes would do a lot of damage as well. 
I'm not even sure. Yeah, look at this. Miguel from his base could go through and block the trade as well. He could go all the way, like this way, to the yeah. scallions, just pass this castle and put himself over here. And yeah, Quenny just. Rage losing his castle on the, on the main hill in the middle. Like, oh, yeah. So now the raid against the trade is even more open than before. Some gains of knowledge trying to defend there. Oh, it's so many villagers in the middle of Rubenstock and Miguel here. Just knowing, okay, this wood is very important because they have extremely little left. Like this one a bit. But what Miguel has 5k wood in the bank. Yeah, but Room still, you, you know those guys. They think ahead. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's also an Atacama as well. Now some paladins of Miguel, but they will just take some lives of villagers and then will die against uh, uh, Mamelukes of Rage if they get into the range there yeah, and they do. Oh, some comfort just now, but they will yeah, only get us uh, uh, some. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but room stocks push in the north. It's just unstoppable. Rams, uh, elite cannon galleons, and normal Saracen galleons. Just nothing you can do at the Gossier. And by now, Rubenstock has uh, more trade profits than the other team combined. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, even some nice raids from Knowledge again, but yeah, this, I this don't see this. Yeah, nice now elite Mamelukes going into the trade, and I don't see the last chance of Quenye defending this. Let's take a look. A lot of paladins, a lot of elite mamelukes and even some villagers trying to build a castle on this precious hill you mentioned at the very start of this game. I think this might get the f uh, final killing blow. Obviously Rage is trying to hold on and trying to defend there. All the army of Rage now going offensively. The both traps went down. Let's see. I think a lot of villagers will die as well, but not before they type the GG. A lot of villagers would have died. Wow. But the game is over, and we see another bigger lead for loss here. Nice, nice performance. Um, I have to say, I I favored uh, their team a bit, especially, yeah, especially because uh, Rubenstock is just really fond of his Saracens and knows how to use them well. And I I don't think um, the style of Rage and Kellen really suits Saracens too well. Um, Rather, Saracens don't suit their style. Yeah, and obviously the map, like, Quenye, yeah, not only deathmatch players played this map like less than 30 times, and Rubens and Miguel. There was no restart used yet at all, right? Oh, yeah, uh, maybe in some maybe ones we didn't one see. One. Yeah, yeah, but. Okay, let's take a look at Kirsten's Groomstock. Just great job and knowledge. Yeah, we saw it. We saw it, guys, live. On the stream, verbally official, how the top 1v1 deathmatch player in the world just throws away 35 ships. Oh god. Um, food collected. Oh, yeah. I almost yeah. forgot about them. <laughs> oh god, I will <laughs> remind you. I will write you an SMS tomorrow before you stand up <laughs> and you will wake up with a gif of those. Oh, that would be sweet. Guys, goes 2 4 for the potential wow. underdog. Oh god, I will need a break, guys. After this game, we will have the creme de la creme of civilizations and maps. We will have Green Arabia, Goss, and Hidden. The fastest oh, thank civilizations. Thanks for clearing it up as well. What? Sorry, sorry. Uh, you could just. Uh, that's it. Um, Ruben was a deathmatch player before. He was good in random map, but he played them both. I'm trying to talk something important here. The creme de la creme, <laughs> Hans and Goss, the fa two fastest Sif, the most skill, the most action coming up pretty soon. I will be back in a second. Oh, the game's already starting. Nice. Okay, I'll be right back real quick as well.
Yes. Okay. 30 seconds of data delay remaining. So, and I am back as well. So, the fastest civilization is the most common 2v2 deathmatch of all times. I think this has to be the 3 4 for Quendi A taking this map here. Let's take a look. Obviously, knowledge going for Goss, rage going for. Uh, the hunts and now we see the lost guys teaming up brew and miguel obviously roomstock more of the late game player and giving all the important things to the lost guys now it's everything in their hand they went to the top eight they got the draft of roomstock let's see how they will perform brew with the ghost and miguel with the hunts this will be extremely action-packed yeah they both trained it a lot um in the one-on-ones Brew played a lot of uh, Goss and Miguel played a lot of Hans. Let's see how well they're prepared for the 2 and 2. Okay, let's see how the strategies will go. Who will double who first? Obviously, it's extremely tough to have a good uh, army composition against both players. Mm. Oh, let's see, 150. Do we see a, the first restart, maybe? Let's take a look. All players still having seven villagers and military looks quite fine as well and color says miguel re let's take a look this gold spot is in the front this gold spot is very offensive and this that's yeah, really one. it's a hard spot. where is this Maybe. third gold spot i think this one no that's Maybe a really tough this spot one, if he gets yeah. pushed pushed quickly um he can't do shit yeah, absolutely. Miguel's gold spot aren't very good. Tough to defend. Let's take a look. Oh, and it's two minutes and but two seconds. So we will continue. Ju it was just a pause. Still, no one lost the villager. Absolutely fine here. And the double, first double is against Miguel. A lot of paladins from Rage coming to the side. And Bru will just completely focus on Rage for now. So Miguel trying to defend here, but as I said, it's so tough to have a good uh, unit composition against uh, two players, against Paladins, Kafarchers, Huskals and Halberdiers. Um, uh, let's see how he will try to manage that. Still, no castle in production and a lot of units going up front and knowledge sees okay this guy has a lot of gold in the front let's start a final push here or not a final push but let's start a push here and miguel again starting two town centers before a defensive castle i'm not really sure if that's a good option in that's, team games that's definitely not a good option he, he needs he desperately needs death castles there yeah, he has he a nice hill to defend he'll just 
Let's see, Rage trying to send a lot to uh, snipe some villagers from Miguel in the back. But nice interception from Brew, sending still everything into the face of Rage. Rage, the guy who's at pop 150, other guys around pop 120 and 100. A big fight here, looks good for Miguel. Let's take a look who got a market. No one yet. Nice sneak, Rex by, by Kellen up in the north. Oh, yeah, nice move, nice move. I already mentioned another game that he has this move from me. So, great copying of great players there. Oh, nice move of Rage, uh, sniping so many bulls from the back, denying a castle, denying the potential trade. Nice moves. And some Scorpions even added from um, the Ghost player, something you don't see too often in a Hunt's Ghost War. Yeah, well, it's the old school style. Both. Like, back then, everyone used to go mass corps uh, and this. And then people switched to rather slinging the Huns to go. And, uh, Huge so armies for scorps. all the players. Every player being above 145 military at the stage. Miguel leading with 170 army, but a lot of halberdiers, obviously, trying to defend a lot. Knowledge will try to deny this castle, but uh, this corner, but at the moment he only has host cards. Should add some halberdiers. Let's take a look at the food echo. Still not the greatest from any player, but it's still early in the game. Food lasts for a bit more, but you should always start to think about this food as early as possible in this war, because all the units you want to build are relying on food, except maybe car vouchers. Oh, Knowledge just doing such a great job of denying everything here. And Miguel only sending Kafarchers. You always want to send a combination of Paladins and Kafarchers here because they can easily get out countered by only some host cards. Let's take a look um, how Miguel will uh, fight there. And he actually is deciding, okay, I can't fight this. And is looting at the front as well. Let's take a look at Bruce attack and Rage just doing a great job getting up three castles there always fighting from the hill and Bruce wow, can't this really is push really good. Yeah, in this situation as a boss it's, it's hard to do a big push um, because Rage has those hills to handle and a massive army so there's lots of paladins and kelpachers left so he can, he can easily defend while yeah, Miguel is struggling and oh. he can't get trade up, he, he doesn't have any eco up, and just look at beautiful farming already prepared from Kevin. Okay. <laughs> I'll look just in a second, look at the army of Blue. It's only Harvardiers and Scorpions, and as you know, these are pretty weak Losing against Postcards, and Blue will lose everything. I think this game looks pretty good for 28. Although Miguel is pushing now, let's take a look at the food echo. Pretty nice, pretty nice indeed. Although it could be a bit better. Uh, Rage is building a lot of farms as well. I'm impressed by his amount of farms I prepared. Not it should um, take. Uh, look at the base of rage, uh, rage and build some more farms as well. Knowledge preparing a nice defense here, having a lot of army. Will most likely lose this castle, but then should be able to hold. And still, the corner is knowledge, and they have three castles. Yep. Looks, looks really tough. Oh, Bruce Furikos. Okay, -ish, okay, -ish as well. Um, let's take a look at the total farm account because it is so important in this war. Uh, as you can see, Miguel was zero. Uh, the other players with around 30, Rage with the bit lowest. Miguel now building his very first farm, as you can see, now building I can give some you, more. I can also give you the food collected, which is 1.5k for knowledge and uh, zero for Miguel and 1k for quite a bit of advantage, but not too bad. Ru is getting a lot of farms up, so it's fine. Still some catching up to do, for sure. And an unprotected trap and some Kafar just dying. So this is doing so much damage. And now yeah, maybe... So even this sneak attack is so huge, right? Yeah. Just they're not really getting the trade running. Only, only two markets up for now. And the other team is having the trade for quite some time. Although they have a very, very bad corner here, not building oh, the yeah. markets to the full potential on the corner. Just unlucky. Well, there could be some better stuff. 
at least on this hill you can place one on the left. I think over down here and here would be better there. there. And maybe in, but oh well. in here. Just in the rush of the, the first minutes. Okay, so okay and now Miguel decides, okay, I cannot push this hill. This guy prepared so much onagers and a lot of host cults and hobbit is there. I will help you, bro. Let's take out what Rage is trying to throw at you. Or just to try to um, buy some time. Oh, and this food vehicle looks good, but it is unprotected. And even some host cults sneaking in can do so much damage here. Yeah, not a single castle there. Let's take a look. Paladins not fighting with the whole army. Oh, I think that's not a good fight for Lossier, and I think they should absolutely retreat. Uh, 28 he having more army here, and still being annoying in the north. Uh, Caleb, yeah. that is. Oh, this castle finally. Uh, this trap survived. Um, Let's take a look. I think Lost needs to retreat and he needs to set up some castles. And now all oh, the Carfachers would be needed on this hill. I think if this castle is oh, going man. up, yeah, it absolutely is. But this He's will not live for long. Trade, I guess. Which is not the right choice. No, oh, no, yeah, Miguel. Right. Yeah, yeah, so he needs to go back. And I'm not even sure if he can take any fight now. Because if he wants to go on the hill, he has to fight against the hill first. And this one castle will not have out enough against some rams, some huskals, calf archers. I think he can just snipe some paladins and then he has to retreat. And where's all the army of Gru? He's only at pop 130 and as you can see both 20 A players being at pop limit at this stage and the lost players struggling only having pop 140 losing a lot of heavy cover just I think this push is very deadly from 20 A now taking the important hill blocking two smaller gold swords of Gru the main gold sword of Gru isn't taking care of too well the full echo is back and running uh, some host cards cleared it up I think XG. this is so tough, yeah, absolutely. Now they're uh, extremely close to the production. Single units are just dying. Now they're exiting. Okay, mate, let's go into the trade. Let's finish this game. There's a beautiful hill. Actually, you always want to see a castle on this if you are lost. But now Quendi is taking this castle, uh, this hill. They will kill all the trade cards and it will be extremely tough for a loss to clear this up. They are gathering all the army now, but Brew can't send much. Oh, he's even trying to defend the siege workshop. I'm not sure if that's the right decision. I think he should send everything there. And now Miguel is taking the fight alone against two armies on the top there. No, oh, but it's fine. Oh yeah, Miguel, Miguel was able to get out a lot of army. Getting all his main gold and even getting being neutral gold. Oh yeah, obviously if you're having all your army um, to defend against the trade, you cannot have it everywhere. And uh, Knowledge just doing such a great job of every unit he's uh, losing the front. Uh, just throwing it into the face of Miguel in another spot. And this is most of the wood eco of Miguel. Look at this pop 110, it's not looking good. Nope. Oh, sweet. Nice wall by Brew. Nice Oh, great move there. But not even the great number advantage for Miguel there to yeah, clear up two to too cost efficient. Yeah, he, he might forces. Have had less actually, but fighting from the hill. Yeah, I helped out a lot. Yeah, absolutely. So, good amount of unit actually sent there because you always only want to oh. send a bit more units. <laughs> Just look at Miguel's base. Oh yeah, totally run over, traps um, sniping down, this castle will not go up. Now a lot of paladins and Carfarcher, but not too many left. And this attack is deadly as well. I don't see Brew getting into a good army now. Miguel is struggling and still, there's just not the greatest trade. Let's take a quick look at the trade card. Not it's trade. only 19 for Brew and 10 for Miguel. Not enough, not en absolutely not enough. And another go, and this is still without a castle. Now. Miguel needs to send everything there, but now he sends less. He sends less than the guy who's actually raiding the trade, and he's losing at home. I think there's just no way for Miguel def really defending his base. And especially yeah. because if you're sending more Carfachers and even getting up picked up from his cards. Oh man, such a convincing game by Quendi A, as you can see, those guys are top tier players here and we can see the GG from Loss as a bit of an expected win from Quendi A. This is like the premier civilizations for, the, for them, yeah, they're so they good. Completely in the elements, uh, 
Yeah, absolutely being top three teams in the world combined with Praxis and Hector and obviously it was Jitba and Interdimension on this. So absolutely like top, top tier and Lost Prey played good but just a lack of experience, a bit lack of map reading and maybe even a bit lack of communication there as well or just maybe great they communication. Maybe well. I don't know. I mean in the end he didn't even get pushed that hard at the start but he still never got access to those two gold spots between him and Kellen. I think oh, one of those were, was Kellen's. Yeah, but then he only had one small gold spot. No, no, no he, had, he had one in the south. It wasn't this one his? I'm not sure. Uh, it's so tough to tell sometimes. So, a uh, great performance by Quendie And they're still absolutely in the running to become the Uprising Champion 2015. Kill statistics by Miguel, who obviously has to throw a lot and knowledge for Goss, quite a nice kill statistic as well. As you can see, largest army at one point was so great, having like 700 army on the map at one point, um, on the whole map. Yeah, just not the real ego for Miguel there, although knowledge ego isn't convincing me too much as well. I will update the score. It is... 3-4. Okay. So what's the next map? It is 3 times 1 we wants. Uh, it's Goss and GA, Saracens on map packs, and Byzantines on graveyard. Oh my. Um, if we want to